Howdy folks, as I said in part two, there will, be, there was going to be a part three, now I decided to do the ITC coupons as a part three, simply for the fact that there is not everybody that's going to have an ITC membership. So, uh, I thought for us ITC members, we could go through this, look at all the lovely coupons that we get as ITC members at the Harbor Freight. Uh, as I said before, please subscribe. Uh, doesn't cost you anything and it helps grow the channel and makes me want to keep doing these videos to help you folks out so uh, you know please subscribe so with that said ITC coupons okay as I said in part one uh, the four inch uh, angle grinder this is the one that you're gonna want to start off with if if you're gonna do anything on a let's say weekend warrior basis this is the one that you're gonna want to have over the black one yes it's more money but if you're an ITC member it is $17 this month Good coffee. Uh, they got a grease gun on sale for ten bucks. If you need a grease gun, and it looks like it does come with the hose, so that's nice. Cause not every place uh, you can get into with the straight pipe. Uh, the long shaft uh, die grinder. It's on sale for $30 for us ITC members. Yay! I might have to go procure myself one. The one thing I am though looking at is this uh, cast iron anvil. Cast iron anvil I have. I might be uh, picking that up. But uh, it's 55 pounds. It's a decent sized work surface uh, the thing is with it I've noticed that it is not hardened at all so uh, you can either leave it unhardened and work harden it with a hammer or if you've got the proper facilities go ahead and harden it it is cast iron it should harden very easily so and I've already been to the Harbor Freight as you can see because I got the three inch cutoff wheels for ten dollars and these are the uh, 1 16th inch thick ones 40 grit so if that works out for you great if not I'm sorry I'm just uh, burning them up on my die grinder gravity feed blaster I believe that needs a bigger compressor or at least an engine driven compressor uh, the cobalt drill bit set is on sale for $43 uh, if you're doing some hard steel uh, yes you're gonna want to have the cobalt drill bit set 
or if you're going through heavy amounts of steel. Uh, the cobalt bits should last longer than the titanium nitride, so keeping that in mind. Uh, they got a safe on sale. Uh, would not buy those pair of vice grips unless I absolutely needed just a junk pair to do something with. Uh, brush set. Nice. Uh, if you need a knock around set of screwdrivers, there you go. $4.99. Uh, decent uh, 24 tooth framing saw blade. If you uh, do some framework, you don't need that fine edge. You know, 24 teeth, that'll get the job done fast. Uh, something to look out for if uh, you like those lighted number plaques. Uh, this one's solar powered and it comes with the numbers that you stick on. So, for $14, yeah. 24 inch heavy duty cable ties, pack of 10 for a dollar. Go buy them. You will find a use for them. Welding blankets, um, six by eight. They're nice to have, uh, even in the automotive world, they're nice to have because you can put batteries on them. You don't have to worry about acid battery acid leaking on them and start the darn thing on fire uh, they are also great for with, with them folded they actually do work great for knee pads I've got I've got one and it it's nice and I charge batteries on it so get them up off the ground so you don't have to be welding to get one of these uh, if you've got a purpose where you need to have something that's better than cardboard that doesn't light on fire there you go uh, and I've hit these with a oxy fuel torch and they don't burn so Keep that in mind that they are fiberglass, though. You do not want to sleep on with one. Just FYI. Uh, 120 lumen flashlight. Might have to pick that up for the Quantum Collection. Uh, 50 earplugs for $4.99. Yeah. Protect your hearing. You know. You were only born with one set of ears, so protect your hearing, especially when you're younger. I'm in my mid-twenties now, and I'm already having hearing problems, according to the hearing test people. So, wish I would have taken care of my ears a lot better when I was younger. Okay, uh, if you've got the ball joint press, you might want to look at the ball joint uh, master adapter set for 50 bucks. That's uh, not a bad price for that set. Uh, the comfort grip uh, screwdriver set, these are the ones that um, are the nicer set. These are the ones that I would actually steer you towards over the ones on the other page. These ones. Just simply because uh, they are nicer in the hand. And 
if you're having to work with uh, really getting those screws out I mean watch uh, the first part of the Chevrolet 6.5 liter starter video set series and you'll see why you'd want to have a comfort grip set over just a standard uh, plastic, hard plastic grip set or I don't know you, you folks may find it purpose for them uh, 48 inch uh, I-beam level for $6.99 if you need a big level you can't go wrong for $6.99 uh, everybody else is gonna want twenty to thirty dollars for a forty-eight inch level. It, it's outrageous what they want for them, and most of them I've seen are practically made in the same Galdern factory over in China. So got some casters on sale okay half inch drive digital torque wrench adapter so what this would be is, is that you take your standard half inch drive ratchet and you put my pointy tool you put this end on here on here and you put your socket on the other end and I believe you can set these to beep at you when you've reached desired torque and they do this one does come with the adapters to adapt it down from the half inch down to three eighths and also half inch to quarter inch drive. So they are uh, for twenty five dollars. You might want to look into it. Uh, goat skin riding work gloves. Uh, I've had the Tillmans for years. Uh, might have to look at these Hardies for eight dollars. Mm. Kind of hard to turn them away. Uh, yeah, back up here at the top of the page, mask fuel injection pressure test kit for seventy bucks. Yeah. Uh, if you do a lot of fuel pressure testing, or you work on an assortment of vehicles then this is the set you should probably have in your arsenal uh, if you've got a trailer you might want to put some reflective stripes on it so that people will actually see you at night I've uh, there's way too many people that don't notice that there's a trailer behind a person so uh, four ounce adjustable detail air spray gun for ten dollars uh, I looked at it in the store and this is what happened it came home with me so we'll cover this in a more a little bit better detail later okay so yeah now you know what I f how I feel about it okay a uh, battery terminal cleaner you need them you need to buy yourself one buy yourself two have them in both your toolboxes they're not that expensive a buck seventy nine and 
you will thank yourself on the day that your truck doesn't start and you pop the hood and your truck's battery has green buggers all over it and all you do is you pop off the battery cables you clean it you put it back on and you're ready on rocking on the road within 10 minutes instead of waiting an hour for a battery charger Thirty bucks. Yeah, you could get the solar panel charger. I've seen them around online for that price. It's competitively priced. The three eighths variable speed reversible clo course close quarters drill for twenty five dollars. Uh, I've seen a few of the other guys on the YouTube's here. They got these. Uh, Eric the car guy has one and he loves it and I might have to pick one up because there's a lot of things I do in close quarters that uh, I just don't need a big drill for but I need a drill so especially when you're working indoors uh, if any of you in the automotive world or weekend warriors uh, do a lot of stuff inside of uh, car doors. Uh, you know that there's very tight corners in there, and huh, nice to have one. Now, the fuel pump and vacuum tester. If you've got an old carbureted vehicle, you're going to want to have one so that you can tune that carburetor. Just saying. Uh, the two-piece long uh, long reach plier set for six dollar. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the two and a half pound dead blow hammer for seven dollars. If you need a dead blow hammer, buy it. Because uh, I really don't know what else to say. It, it, it's a hammer. Yeah, there's a few better ones out there, but um, bang for buck, you're not doing anything wrong. Uh, the 12 foot 10 gauge booster cables, uh, they're about a, only good for is uh, jump start and a little Honda. <sighs> So, yeah. Eight pound hickory sledgehammer for $18. Yeah, you're going to want to buy a sledgehammer because there's those things on the suspension of your vehicle that just don't want to come out. Okay. Uh, drawer safes, uh, trailer jack legs yay uh, they got the trailer jack leg for twenty dollars so that seems like a pretty good deal for a trailer jack leg okay uh, 150 piece uh, set screw assortment that is a nice deal for six uh, for five bucks so yeah uh, for those folks that are working in the door panels, uh, the six-piece panel trim removal tool set is a nice thing to have. I have inherited and pieced and pieced a uh, different set, my set together. But for those of you that are just starting into it, uh, this is a nice set to start off with, and in some ways, I wish I would have known about this kit three years ago. Just saying. But that's all I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, buck twenty-nine for an eighteen-inch long neck 
funnel. Uh, I'd say buy it if you need a funnel. I, it's a funnel. What can go wrong with a funnel? Well, uh, nineteen. Uh, tarps. Get the tarps if you need a tarp. Uh, knee pads. Get knee pads for for nine dollars. Your knees will love you. Okay. I think there's enough said there. Uh, $2.99 for pressure gauge. Uh, buy it, put it in your vehicle. You need to make sure you've got proper tire pressure. And our loving fur ball over here. Huh? Uh, 12 inch quick change hex bit extension for $6.00. If you have a need for one, I'd say that that's a great deal because you look at anybody else, they want $20 for one that long. So, uh, 3 one soldering iron for 20 bucks. I need to pull the trigger on that one myself. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the 15 foot drill powered drum auger. Another one that came home. Drano's hard on your pipes. Just saying. Uh, stainless steel travel mug. For six bucks it's well worth it because I mean the Yeti that they're comparing it to does not have those ribs that your hand can lock into so don't uh, don't be buying that Yeti for $30 it, it needs some work in my opinion to be worth $30 <sighs> Chain if you need chain to uh, chain stuff up. Get a whole 25 feet of it for 25 bucks. That's a buck a foot. Wow. 5 uh chain. Yeah. Uh, uh, pulley remover and installer set for $14. Yes. And it looks like it comes with most of the adapters that you would need to pull most uh, pulleys off of anything. Uh, okay. And nippers. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Pin punch for six bucks. Uh, there's those times that you're going to need to punch something out. So, if it's something that you don't care about, then yes, the steel punches. Now, these are steel punches. Just keep that in mind. Uh, the nine piece carbide hole saw set for 20 bucks. If you need to drill large holes in steel, that's the set to get. Now, the magnetic glove slash tissue dispenser, they come in all the colors now. Yes, they come in all the colors of the rainbow. Well, at least all the colors that U.S. General has right now. So, for $10, you should go buy it.
impact uh, half inch drive socket sets. If it comes in the sizes that you need, buy it, because uh, for $22, you can't go wrong. <sighs> Three quarter inch click drive torque wrench for 60 bucks, and it goes up to 300 foot pounds. If you're working on those big diesels and you need a three quarter inch torque wrench like to, like yesterday, then I'd say go spend your money on that and that should get you through, if not uh, last you a long time. Uh, they got the 600 amp AC clamp meter. Personally, I wouldn't buy it just because it's only AC. That's just me. So, if it was AC DC, then I'd buy it. But, no. Uh, step grip, little bits. Uh, they're a little bit hard to start but once you get them started they're great just saying packing tape helping hands if you do electronics folks you need to get yourself at or a couple sets Three-quarter inch ball joint separator for thirteen dollar. Yes, 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 yes. Mechanics gloves for uh, eight dollar. Eh, believe these ones are the nice ones with the padding. So yeah. Now, if you know what the heck you're doing with electricity in the walls, uh. 125 volt 20 amp outlet with two USB ports for $13. Uh, yeah, you might want to procure yourself one. And I believe it also comes with the plate, so you don't have to buy the plate separate. Uh, don't quote me on it, but I do believe that it comes with the plate, so. Okay, lifting sling, 4,000 pound working load. If you move heavy objects around with a overhead crane, then you should start looking into strapping. And that would be a nice piece to start you off with. Take it from someone that's done it for a while. Just saying. Uh, one by f one inch and five inch combination belts and disc sander. Uh, for seventy bucks, this has got to be uh, better than the four by thirty six and six inch uh, combination sander. Uh, because I, I was looking at these in the store and the the table actually is a lot truer with the belt and with the disc than it was on my 4x36. So if you need to do some precision work, uh, yeah, and the whole thing is is that don't worry about not being able to get belts uh, just type it into the search box Google Bing whatever the heck you use Yahoo uh, and you'll be able to find companies out there that will sell you belts all the way down 
uh, I think I found for like the 4x36, I think I found all the way down to 2,000 grit. So, not a bad thing to do. So, uh, if you got a bench grinder that you want to put on a pedestal, for 40 bucks, eh. if you ain't got the ability to make your own, go buy it. But if you got the ability to make your own, you might just as well go make your own. Just my opinion. You know, if you've got welding and fabricating skills, yeah, go for it. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, Harbor Freight is does not just sell their house brands. They do sell brands that are, are not on their house brand list, such as Gorilla Tape. And they've got it on sale for $10 for the 35 foot roll. So if you need Gorilla Tape, go down and buy it for $10. Uh, 1300 watt plastic welding kit. Uh, I've heard people, and I've talked to a few people that have had this, and they say that they've had problems with it, but I think it has to do with the fact that there's not many people that actually know how to work one of these. Uh, it, it It's a lot more like soldering than you think but it's not like soldering a it, it's hard to explain and maybe one of these times we might pick one of these up and I'll show you what the heck I'm talking about because in I think that uh, a video would make better uh, use of me explaining it than me just trying to explain it in this ad <sighs> Uh, if you need a composite ratchet, uh, they got it on sale for $12. Hey! Uh, punch and chisel set on sale for $9. Uh, if you work construction or uh, insurance, whatever, uh, they got the yellow reflective safety vests on sale for $3. Uh, slide hammer and bearing puller set for fifty dollar. Yeah, yeah. Nine inch magnetic torpedo level. Yeah, if you need a small level, they're great. Welding magnets. Oh my gosh, if you do any welding, buy yourself some. You won't be sorry. Uh, if you actually do like to have your stuff, uh, don't even consider the paddle locks because, um, yeah, uh, they are only there to keep the honest people out. Uh, that's about it they're really good for. Just saying. Twenty-two tooth carving disc. I've seen some really nice work with these. Uh, what these go to are the four and a half inch angle grinders. Uh, you hook them up just like a standard cutoff wheel and you can do some really nice work with them. I've seen it where guys are putting down the chainsaws and going to the four and a half inch because they got a little bit more control with this than they do with the chainsaw so uh, you got your composite air grinder which that's nice that it's composite uh, powder coating system, you do have still have to come up with your own oven. 
So, six inch industrial chop saw for $35. Yes! Yes. Really, all it is is a base and a motor with a switch. Really, folks, if it dies, bring it back within the 90 days. Inline spark checker. If you do diagnostic work, $4 of well spent money. Just saying. Uh, aviation 10 snips. They are great for anything 18 gauge and under. That's really what they're rated for. Anything more than that, you need something bigger, such as a throatless share. Something that like that. Uh, aluminum polishing kit, if you've got... Uh, Parts on the Harley that need to be polished. There you go. $14.99. They hook up right to your drill. Well, fireman's axe. Uh, I've seen people actually take this, put a decent edge on it, and what they do is that they actually use this for logging. What they do is, is that they put a nice cutting edge here and then they actually hook onto the logs and drag them with the back end. So, is that real good on it? Probably not, but, eh. For 20 bucks, who am I to call them about? Scraper set, yes. Yes. for five bucks. Uh, the three inch high speed reversible air cutoff tool. I would like to know more about this out there in YouTube world. I would like to hear what your thoughts are on it. So, yeah. uh, nine and a half inch wire crimping tool for four bucks. Uh, for four bucks, you can't go wrong. Saves your teeth. And we're on to the last page. 25 watt solar panel for $55. Uh, yeah. Go for it if you need it. Uh, 3 eighths reversible air drill, $11.99. Yeah, okay. If you uh, got an air supply, go ahead and buy it. Uh, they got the battery load tester on sale for $15. Emergency LED triangle work light. Uh, I actually started, I bought one because you can go like this with it, and it's red. You can go with the center, with white, or blinking. Well, what I use it for is when I'm roaming around on the tractor at night, I can attach to the back, and people know that I am there. So it's not just for emergency working. I mean, although you could throw that into the glow box and have a nice light for changing tires and other things. So, thanks for watching. Oh, forgot to talk about that fiberglass welding blanket. Now this one's actually 6x8 for $23. That's probably the one you're actually want to gonna go with. Uh, just saying. So, yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching, and uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.